Today, I will be analyzing Candace Owens' statement and argument regarding the recent death of Sonia Massey. I'm CC441. Welcome to my show called The Funky Truth, where the greatest example of intelligence, maturity, and civility is listening to and entertaining an argument that you might not necessarily agree with. So let's hear what Candace Owens had to say about the death of Sonia Massey. As I have said since the beginning of time, there are mistakes that have, hum police officers are human beings. There are mistakes that happen. And the idea that now you're going to use this situation and all the usual suspects are already involved. We know that attorney Crump is already involved to then try to make black Americans believe that this happened simply because she was black is pointedly ridiculous. So I am saying to black Americans today, do not take this bait. The first thing we notice in her statement are the biases. Taking Sonia's life was simply a bad decision that this police officer made. And police officers are human. And police service alone is far greater than this one life that happens to be black. There is cultural bias when Ms. Owens condemns other blacks for being upset and identifying with Sonia Massey. There is group bias. After seeing this tell-all video, we as black people shouldn't support Miss Massey simply because she's black. She seems to be appealing to people that she perceives has authority, uh, especially over the way black people act. Because every time this happened, people of authority, black people act this way. In her statement too, there's also a lot of faulty and misleading reasoning. Right away, she hastily concluded that Blacks are going to act a certain way after they saw what happened to Sonia Massey. She tried to make Sonia's death seem like it was nothing, just a casualty of flawed police work. But the way we act is the real problem. She seems to be attempting to use a double bandwagon approach. She's saying that all Black people are going to blame whitey police officers because he only made a small mistake. All the while she thinks she represents mainstream sentiment. She even tried to mislead or redirect the nature of this shooting. And lastly, she's trying to say that Sonya being killed because she's black is a bad argument because it's always the only argument. Sean Grayson was the young police officer that shot and killed Sonia Massey. Let's take a look at the facts that pertain to him. This young man did exactly what his work history suggested he would do. His act also revealed how Sonia's life was taken behind the scenes. The good old boy system in policing has always hurt this country and it will continue to. Why even have background checks and rules when you can do what they did and hire who you like? And we always like the people that are like us. Mr. Grayson received two DUIs, possibly in less than one year. Two years into his military enlistment in the army, he was kicked out of the army with a general discharge. Now I was an officer in the army and we always started out maxing you out, but it's always downgraded to give you a chance at military benefits and a chance on the job market once you get back on the block. Now he could have gotten those two DUIs while he was on active duty, and that's a sound reason to kick him out. Or he probably got one DUI and kicked out for a reason like this right here. Now the army is full of black leadership, and Mr. Grayson probably had a problem with that and did something disrespectful. After his discharge in less than three and a half years, or immediately, he was hired to become a police officer. This is how they would immediately hire him. Hey man, we're gonna hire you, but until your background blows over, we're gonna have you work the front desk. Now they hired somebody that's not a finisher, doesn't make good decisions, 
doesn't respect authority, doesn't respect the law, puts others in danger, and could have a problem with other groups. And he quits and moves on when things don't go his way. He showed all these traits and flaws to the six agencies that he worked for. And I can guarantee you this, 80% of the people that he worked with knew that he was capable of doing exactly what he did. He is not the only one that's guilty of murder. Candace's argument was really weak. I think she really doesn't understand the sympathy, empathy, and humanity of mainstream America. Stevie Wonder can see through Ray Charles' eyes the brutality in Sonya Massey's murder. And after seeing that video, I do believe that most Americans feel the same way. Sonya invited these police officers into her home to help her, and they were supposed to protect her. But instead, they murdered her. Seeing that video should bring out all kinds of emotions in all of us. All six of those police agencies that hired Mr. Grayson should be dismantled from the top down. I would like to thank you guys for joining me. Please leave questions and comments. Thank you very much.